to me, Eric, he's every guy. And he's bought into the whole go to work, provide for your family, kind of racing with the Joneses a little bit, more, more, more. But church is church. You think the way you think at church, and that's the church way. And then you get out into the business world and you get into real life. And I think a lot of people probably feel that way. He has an epiphany when he has a mild heart attack, it dawns on him that you can change. And a lot of times, the people that are around you, well, not to mention the friends that have known him to be a certain way, best friend who's still kind of a vagabond, are very re resistant to that. Gary is the best friend of Eric. They grew up together, they went to school together, a religious school until he got kicked out. So I think he carries a lot of bitterness about that. And some of that bitterness I think he takes out on people of spirituality and on the church itself. Probably one of the most influential characters for Gary's character in the film is Eric's father. If there's a villain of the piece, I guess that's Bill Nelson. It's a real, true, real life existence between those two characters, my father and I, and what I know of God, in essence, is what he's fed me. So I, I kind of learned the wrong way, and then I have a realization of what it truly is to me and it's not him. There's a real serious philosophical rift between the two men. Eric's father, he doesn't manifest it in ways that certainly Gary doesn't find, and Eric I think at times doesn't find uh, really in the true spirit of Jesus Christ. He has a lot of rules and regulations that he thinks have to be lived up to. God helps those who help themselves. I think that's pretty much his point of view. And his son has developed a, a much more compassionate view. To quote from the Bible doesn't mean that you're a great Christian just because you can say all of these stories and quote out of it and all of that. It just that's not what makes you a good Christian. It's just a good story. It's, a, it's about for me. It's about a father-son relationship that's very sad and poignant and uh, and powerful. One of the things that made me think about is, is you know how do people come to spiritual decisions? Does it take a, a catastrophic moment in your life. Sometimes it does. It's opened my eyes a lot to the whole story and, and getting to be Eric. There's a lot of that that I can take home with me and, and give honest thought. Who knows, maybe change the way I live. It certainly, certainly has in a lot of ways already.